What's up everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today as you can see we're going to talk about places that you cannot go in with your gun on but places that you can go in and ask for permission to carry a gun here in South Carolina. And the also the thing about these places is they do not have to have the proper sign. All right, you'll probably hear me talk about proper signage through this video. There is a separate video that will go in depth talking about those signs, so please go and check that out as well. Welcome back everybody. And like I said, we're going to be talking about places that in, here in South Carolina uh, with a permit that you cannot go in with your gun on, but you can go in and ask for permission. Again, these are places where you can't go in with the gun on. You got to get the permission first, then go back and get your gun. All right. So first thing is a lot of people don't realize this. Your schools. Yes. Private, public, college, university, technical college secondary institution all right any schools you can get permission to carry in their buildings and also on their property all right so what i mean is, is if their name is on the property you have to have permission to carry on the property or in the building so meaning some of the high schools around here have tracks where people can go and walk all right that is the school property i have to have permission to carry on that property one of the local universities, Clemson University right the road has a big agricultural program. They have fields that they use for that program that are not attached or near the college. They are way off campus. They own that property. I have to have permission to carry on that property. So again, I cannot stress this enough. If their name is on the property or the building, you have to get permission. But you can get permission. There's nothing wrong with going in and asking for permission. That is totally okay. You have the right to do that. All right. But you are, with your permit, allowed to leave it in your vehicle in one of those spots that I talked about in a previous video. So close glove box, close console, container under the driver's seat with the integral fastener or in the luggage compartment. So again, those fasteners have to latch, snap, or zip shut with those cases. All right, but that is where you can keep it in your vehicle in the parking lot. All right. Now, one thing here you can carry into a school or college athletic event related to firearms. We're not talking about drill teams. All right, they, they, there has to be live rounds being shot there, but you are allowed to carry at those events with a permit. Okay, so again, on the in the parking lot when you pull in and park, glove box, console container with the fastener in the dry, under the driver's seat or luggage compartment, okay? That is where you've got to have it. Now, if you're carrying it openly in the vehicle, move it to one of these spots so somebody doesn't walk by and freak out because they see a gun sitting there in the vehicle. Plus, you don't want somebody stealing it. If it's laying right there, that's, you know, they can break in and steal it. So put it in one of these spots before you get on the school property. With the permit, you have to have it in one of these spots when you turn on the school property. So you can't carry it concealed on your person when you're on the property. It's got to be in one of these spots. Leave it in one of these spots. Go in and ask for permission. Get the permission. Come back out and get your gun if they give it to you. Now, here is a catch. If you do not have a permit, you cannot have it in your vehicle anywhere on school property. So yes, when you're anywhere else in the state of South Carolina without a permit, glove box, console, under the or luggage compartment with the container with the integral fastener, not on school pro property. Not on school property. Stress that again. Not on school property until you get a permit. Without a permit, you cannot have it anywhere in your vehicle. Make sure you understand that because and get some serious trouble if you get caught. Another place, 
inside a publicly owned building of any kind without the express permissions except for your rest areas rest areas are publicly owned buildings but that's automatic permission if you have a permit so publicly owned buildings this is what i want you to think about tax office deeds office um dmv rec centers so here's the question i want you to keep in mind when you're looking at this stuff does someone's tax money fund this building so when you're walking up to a building that should be one of the questions that you need to ask yourself when you're walking up to that building does someone's tax money fund this building not your tax money because you could be in myrtle beach your tax money isn't going to fund something in myrtle beach okay it'll fund within your local area all right so does someone's tax money fund this building that's what you should be asking when we talk about a publicly owned building we're not talking about buildings like walmart where the public goes in and out or quick trip where the public goes in and out those are not publicly owned they are privately owned but the public is allowed to go in so places like that whether if even if they don't have the right sign okay they have the right to ask you to leave or go put it back in your vehicle they have that right just like if you walked in with a shirt on or a hat on or some type of clothing that they don't like or feel is appropriate they have that right to ask you to leave if they ask you to leave just leave okay but does someone's tax money fund the building that's what we're talking about when we talk about a publicly owned building next medical employees so if you're a medical employee and you have a permit if you don't remember you are allowed to ask for permission okay but now we're not talking about medical employee like nurse doctor radiology tech things like that medical employee means if that DHEC certified clinic signs your paycheck you're an employee you have the right to go in and ask for permission again you have to go in and ask for permission don't walk in with your gun on asking for permission leave it in your vehicle go in and get permission and then you can go back in and get your gun last churches you just got to get permission now if your church because some churches are using schools for their service if your church is using a school for their service during the time that you're there for church it is a church it's not a school you only have to have permission from the church but that permission doesn't carry over to the school that's two separate permissions that you got to have one for the school one for the church but again if it is a school and that church is using the school that is a church at that time it is not a school you only have to have permission from the church and as you can see here any of the places that we discussed permission is written and signed so every one of these slides that i just went over the church oh look at me i'm going the wrong way the DHEC certified clinic, publicly owned building, the schools, all of these need to be written and signed. Now it doesn't have to be on any type of letterhead looking all official or typed up on a letterhead or anything like that. Okay, it can be on a post-it note, it can be on a sticky note, it can be on a business card you might have in your wallet with a blank spot on the back of it. Written and signed. If it's not written and signed, you do not have permission. Do not just get verbal permission because if something happens, then they can go back and be like, well, I didn't give them permission. It needs to be written and signed by whoever is in charge. Okay? If you need help with some of this stuff, always feel free to reach out to us. But I wanted to make this video so everybody has a reference point on places that they can carry, or I'm sorry, places where you can go in and get permission then carry if you can't that permission but it's got to be written and signed so i hope everybody enjoyed the video i want to thank our sponsors core essential if you go to them and get a great belt use code scgs10 all right i want to thank get right personal training sutter law firm and Lau welding and grading without your support we wouldn't be where we're at today also one of our affiliates no other choice you can go to them. He's got great gear, mags, lights, optics, things like that. Use code SCGS5 for a discount. And always remember, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.